show you uh, what we do to prep the molds. Basically, we've got our molds, we've got a tub of water, we add some rinse aid, which is just kitchen rinse aid, helps minimize the bubbles. So, we just put all the uh, molds in. The smaller molds that might get air bubbles, you massage them in, in, the, in the water to help uh, minimize the uh, bubbles that are going to form in the bottom of your molds. Okay, so what we're doing is we've added a bit of the rinse aid to the water as well. So we just have a squeezy bottle of water. You always use plastic cups when you're working with plaster because you can just squeeze the cup to break the dry plaster out of it and away. Okay, so what we're using is a, a better grade a better grade plaster, it's an art plaster. And what I do is I just do it by um, feel. So I do it by texture and that. And um, we just go till we get a creamy consistency. Okay, so now we just take them out of the water while they're wet. The uh, All the water is good viscosity in the corners, big word, but works well on a Friday night. And um, I just loosely put it in and I'm tapping the mold. I'm doing it on glass again, because glass is, the ultimate flat surface again. And you, if you get your mix right, you've got to work reasonably quick with this stuff and always mount it past the level that you want to do it at. So what I'm doing is doing my two intricate moulds first and then it will go onto the block moulds in a set and you can cut that. Okay, so now the plaster's almost gone off. So what I'm doing is just putting the last bit in the thicker moulds. These moulds aren't so critical because it is brickwork and brickwork is never perfect, never should be perfect. Um, and that's what we go with. So what we do is when, we, when we're at this level here, we scrape off the moulds to get the brickwork level. And I use this, the, the leftover plaster and I pour it into the other moulds trying to keep out all the air. What's the tool you're using? Uh, the tool is a homemade um, flat piece of Perspex which is designed to go in the inch gap that's between the bricks like that so that you can minimise the air that you're putting into the bricks and it's just a flat blade to screed off the uh, moulds. That's all the moulds screeded off now with the little magic tool. Everything's done. Now we just wait 10-20 minutes for them to dry enough to pop out. And here we are with the moulds, we're going to um, take plaster out, it's been sitting for about 15-20 minutes. The thing with this is just to be delicate, you've got to tease the moulds away from, from the plaster while it's still wet. And basically that's the brick out of the mould. So that's one of the moulds we're doing. Uh, the floors that we use for our scenery, that's in there. You don't have to be as careful with these ones because they're big blocky bits that can be teased out simply. And you just put your thumb in, finger in behind them, pop them out, and that's how we um, these ones are fresh out of the moulds. Um, and I dry them on glass. Uh, glass is the ultimate and flat surface, and you can lift them up and put them out in the sun. And the glass is really good for heating up and transferring the heat, drying them. Cheers.